He just had a hip replacement. Four back surgery. Four back surgery. Two, two knees.
When we first started it back in 91, maybe, this is the 33rd, but we had to miss two years because of the COVID. Yeah. Floyd and Phyllis Bonifacio got me in it. Uh -huh. They knew I was a worker and they asked me to help them. And I had walked on, on fire for them, <laughs> either one of them. <laughs> and so I did. And I did. And it, that's then when they were going to retire, because they were too sick to do it anymore. She asked me if I would continue it. Mm -hmm. And I told her I'd continue as long as I was able. And then I, that first year after they retired, I got, had several different people that were helping, but then they sort of backed out. And we've had this same, this same crew, we've had it for about, about 10 years. When we first started, it was a, it was a coal, conglomeration. We were bringing everybody in that worked in the coal mines and because there were so many of them around here. I mean, they were in Kelsite, they were in Pikes, they were in Glenji, they were everywhere. Yeah. And besides Siltex right here in town. And that was the biggest thing. That It was wrapped around the coal industry. The biggest challenge has really been, do you think it's probably been the coal mines closing oh, yeah. down? Oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. The coal mines leaving and well then when that started going out, we switched it to where it was wrapped around homecoming and high school. Yeah. They took our high school away from us, but they can't take our spirit away from us. And, and you can see the number of people that come in here. There are older people, too. I mean, there's little people, but there's older people here that graduated here, went to school here, and they still want to come, and they want to see people they know. So so now it's, it's a little bit different. Now it's, um, I think it's just friendships that you made and, and the chance to, to celebrate with each other and spend some time with it together. This is the nice. of, you know, we graduated in class of 66. Nice. Yes. Long, long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. Yeah. So what does the Jubilee mean to you ladies? Oh, oh it means time to see. Yeah. And the nostalgia right. of our generation. Yeah. yeah. The time to see people you never yeah. see any other time. Right. The yeah. ones that right. have left. You know, they come home for this lot of them. Well, and being here, it sort of used to here then, you know. I mean, I came feeling rough and my back was hurt, and now I'm ignoring it. You know. It makes it feel better just to be here. I grew up in school here in Mount Hope. I lived in Mount Hope for over 20 years. Um, so I'm a Jubilee fan uh, here every year. And so and then since I moved away, I come back every year to give away free gifts. I know this is the 33rd yeah. Jubilee. So yeah. how many do you think you've been to? Probably 25. Yeah, Yeah. probably at least 25. Here. Oh yeah, this is wonderful. It's, and I get to see people that I don't normally get to see uh, on a regular basis just because they come in to, for, for this event. Yeah. And so, yeah. Um, I love it. All right. We have our 7th and 8th grade band from Beckley Stratton, and they're going to be marching in the parade today. Uh, they'll be doing We Will Rock You and ESPN. We participated last year. The kids really enjoyed it last year, so this is our first one this year. Okay. So mom's never marched in a parade before. We'll be out of step, but we'll still be stepping. usually start the first of June and um, everybody has their own little jobs we don't overlap mm -hmm. too much yeah no, not too much we don't overlap we uh, we could really always use help with the parade that's always a big thing is helping with the parade just to line people out with that. Um, but 
we meet, like I said, we start in June, and then we do usually work, we meet every Monday evening for about three months. Mm -hmm. For about three months, <laughs> we do to get this done, and, and um, of course we decorate, do some decorating, and uh, my poor <laughs> sons get stuck with it every year. They do so you every could, they year. could use a little break on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, every year they do. My family pours in. Yeah. And they absolutely, every one of them are there helping me. 